Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Moonlit and Polished. In today's episode, I am showing you the brand new limited edition collection by Kale Polish, The Zodiac. Each of these was modeled by a different influencer. Aries is modeled by Thomas Halbert. Aries is a bright orange. And it's weird, but I like it. I like very few oranges, and this is definitely one of them. I was surprised when I put it on, and I enjoyed it as much as I did. Each of these is shown with two coats. I have to admit, I was a little bit upset when I saw this collection come out. Here is Aries compared with Magic City. And next we have Taurus 2, shown off by Melissa Alatore. I was upset when this collection came out only because there were 12 polishes. And on top of that, I think we got like three days notice that the collection was coming out. And then on top of that, we couldn't use our coupon codes if we had them because the collection is modeled by influencers and they had, you know, they have to pay for their faces and stuff. Which is fine. I just wish I had had more than three days notice. So here is Taurus 2. Here is Taurus 2 compared to the original Taurus. And I saw on Instagram a few people said that Tauruses like more than brown, which I believe. Here is Taurus 2 compared with Peanut Butter, Point Zero, Graham, and Snickerdoodle. Here is Gemini, modeled by Alyssa Forever. Some of these influencers, to be honest, I don't know. There are a few that I do. More that I don't know than I do know. But I really did like the idea of the influencers being models for it because in a way she's... Uh, Kathleen is attracting attention to people who may be underrated or un you know, not spoken about too often, which is nice. It's a great way to help each other out. I love the yellow of this Gemini. It's such a soft, nice, daisy yellow. Or like a baby chick yellow, and I love it. Here is Gemini compared to Celine and Tropicana. Next up we have Cancer modeled by Allison Henry. Cancer is a grayish blue or a bluish gray. I'm not sure. Either way, it's a gray with a sort of bluish undertone. When I saw this one, I knew I had to have it. I love gray. I wear gray clothes. I wear gray nail polish. I tried to have gray hair for a long time and then it just fell out. So I had to go back to my pitch black dark hair, but you know, we tried. It's a beautiful color, and the formula is beautifully thick and smooth, like most of her other nail polishes are. Here is Cancer compared with Virgo and 1435. Now it's Leo, as modeled by Dulce Candy, and I'm just where that girl in that picture looks like the perfect lioness. I love it. She's so beautiful, and I love the way they did her eye makeup. This is sort of a copper jelly with a copper glitter in it. One coat is a little sheer, and the second coat deepens the opacity, but you can kind of still see the color of your free edge. But I mean, it's fine. I think two coats is fine. Here is Leo compared with Princess Penny, which is a copper as well, but it is a much finer glitter. Here is Virgo, as modeled by Hillary. And I am a Virgo, just so you guys are aware. And when I first put on the coat for this gray, I thought, I mean, look at it. It looks patchy. It looks thin. What is going on here? None of the other kale polishes are really like this. But then I put the second coat on and it was completely even and fully opaque. So then I had nothing else to complain about. 
Virgo is a very deep blue, uh, sorry, very deep gray color, and I do love it. I was just surprised that she included two grays in one collection. Again, here is Cancer with Virgo and 1435. Libra is up next, and it's a beautiful lilac color that is being modeled by Jalisa Moses. This one is gorgeous, and I can't wait to use it to design flowers and wear it in spring. I can just think of all these designs that I want to do with it. And it's one of those really pretty colors. Out of the entire collection, there were six that I just had to have. And so when I bought it, I actually bought those six first because I was afraid that some of them might sell out. And I thought if I can't buy them all now, I'll just buy the ones I liked. And Libra was definitely one of the ones I bought immediately. Here's Libra compared to Gum Would Be Perfection, Hug and Roll, and Dream Boy. Next is Scorpio, as modeled by Rosa. I have only seen one scorpion in my entire life, and it was terrifying because scorpions are as bad as spiders and should all be burned. And I'm sorry if there's scorpion supporters out there, but they freak me out. I've got too many legs, they got crab claws, and a stinger. Who needs all that? Anyways, it's a beautiful deep red color, like cherry coke. If this one wasn't called Scorpio, I would say, woman, name it cherry coke because that's what this is. Here is Scorpio compared to Prince Cornelius and Leo. Next up is Sagittarius, which is a purple, and this purple is amazing. I love this purple so much, so much so that I have decided when I go to dye my hair again, I'm going to bring this bottle of nail polish to the salon with me, and I'm going to tell them this is the color purple I want. That is how much I like this purple. It's a beautiful, rich purple. It's dark, but you can tell it's purple, so it's not one of those colors that you're like, oh, it's black. No, it's purple. It's beautiful. It looks darker in pictures than it does in person. Here is Sagittarius compared to Isma and Mozart. Next up we have Capricorn as modeled by Raw Beauty Christie. I love Raw Beauty Christie. She is so funny and real. She's like that friend that you have who says everything you wish you would say, but you're too scared to say. Yeah, she's amazing and I love her. I was really glad to see her in this lineup. Capricorn is a green color with little sort of a shift to it that kind of looks a little bit red and you can see it at the edges of the bottle. And I think this one reminds me of dragons. I'm not sure why. Well, I mean, obviously because it's green, but you know. Here's Capricorn as compared to Medusa. And finally, here is Kathleen Lights herself with Aquarius 2. I won't lie, I was super jealous when I saw that this was the color she used for Aquarius because I love blue polishes and I love blue polishes with little silver flecks in it that look like the night sky. And I was thinking, you know what, September, that's when I was born, sapphire is my birthstone, I'm a Virgo, I should have the blue polish. But I don't have any way of telling this to Kathleen other than this video. I wanted the blue for myself, although the gray is lovely. But this blue is awesome. Here is Aquarius 2, next to Aquarius the first, I suppose. And Aquarius 2 compared to Matanzas and Gumption. This is the last in the collection. It is Pisces, as modeled by Gabriela. Trujillo? I'm sorry, I, Trujillo? I'm sorry, I, I, mean, I don't know how to say that last name and I haven't slept all night, so you can't blame me. Pisces was definitely one of the ones that when I saw online, I had to have it as well. I love these kinds of colors, aqua colors, especially because this one has a sort of flip to a purplish color, which is the perfect color to represent mermaids and fishes with scales because they have that sort of iridescent duochrome like flip to it. Oh, it's 
I think this one was definitely spot on. Here's Pisces compared to Ocean Drive. And that's it, guys. That was the entire 12 piece Zodiac collection. They are on kalepolish.com now, $9.50 each. You can't use coupons, and they are limited edition. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.